I'm Megan, one of Digital Horses brand ambassadors, and I've been working with Leland Photography to try and improve the photos we take. For this challenge, I'm going to be photographing the lovely Miss Aurora, who you may recognise from my other social media platforms. So I tend to take photos on my phone with screenshots from videos. I do have a camera, but I only tend to use that if I'm on the ground rather than if I'm riding. For the first challenge, we were told to capture our horse's personality, and anyone who knows Aurora knows that she has a very big personality. Yes, yes you do. <laughs> so for this challenge, I decided to take it more abstract and use colour. I'm going to be using powdered paint on Aurora uh, to represent her personality and then we're going to let her loose in school and hopefully she's going to run around and make dust fly and look really cool. So we are using hello, <laughs> the powder paint to represent her personality. So I put some red and orange and yellow in and we're going to take them in the school and see if they'll have a bit of a run around. Look good girl. Yeah. Then we've got to take a picture of our favourite pastime. Now I would say that it's probably riding or schooling. I can guarantee you that that is not Aurora's favourite pastime and that she would much rather spend her days out in the field. I'm going to let take some photos of her in the field where she's lovely and natural and relaxed and that's the best. With her best friend. With her best friend. And then finally, we're going to take some photos to show our lovely bond we have together. <laughs> <laughs> she looks really upset. She's like, <laughs> So these tend to be taken by my mum and often when I'm not looking or aware of them. And I really like the organic nature of those. So I'm just going to let my mum have free reign and just snap away and see what we can get from that. Um, we're going to start with this one, which was your bond photo. Um, and I really love this because you're giving your pony a cuddle and she looks really happy um, to have a cuddle from you. The only advice I would give you for this photo is just to think about your background a little bit. So you have this lovely sort of um, view in the distance and then you also have these buildings um, on this side. So I would try and pick between one or the other. So just by um, whoever's taking the photo for you, just moving slightly would have either me meant that this would have been the background, the nice view, or you could have had these buildings as a background. Buildings make really nice backgrounds. But it's a lovely photo and I love how you're stood in the shade because it stops any harsh shadows or anything like that being on your face or on your pony, so it stops any distractions of that sort. And this yeah. one is your favourite thing to do together, and I'm guessing it is out chilling in the field. Um, and I can see you've still got some of that powder on, so that's lovely. Um, just watch that there aren't any distractions like your other pony here, so you could have just cropped the image. Um, but I love how um, you can see where, where you are, um, and it's a lovely sunny day as well, so just watch where your light is coming from. To be honest, it actually doesn't go too badly in this image because um, the side that we're looking at, the pony is in shade and there's not any really bright bits to sort of draw our eye away. Um, but just if you would stand anywhere else, the changing of light might be a little bit distracting. So, but yeah, lovely image. And then this one is your personality photo. And you said you put red powder on because she's quite fiery. Um, I love this. And the other pony in the background looks like a unicorn. I love it so much. It's really, really creative. Well done. Um, again, just be aware of where your sun is coming from. So as you can see, her face is quite bright and then these areas are quite dark. So if you have an overcast day, those are gener generally the best days to photograph her because you don't get any um, shadows anywhere. Or if you can have the sun behind behind your horse, so you're, fa you're facing the sun but it's behind your horse, that can be quite nice as well because then the whole side of the horse that you're looking at is in shadow so they don't get any distracting bright sections and again just be aware of your background a little bit so if you'd have maybe um i know it's hard when they're cantering around and stuff like that um, but if you could have got one with just this hedge in the background or um moved around slightly so you just had the building so it wasn't both little things there and like i say i love what you did with the colored powder um, really really lovely. So we've just had our feedback from Imogen, she's had a look at all our photos 
and giving us some advice on our composition and being really focused on what's in the background and the surroundings when we're taking the photos so nothing gets distracted from this gorgeous face. Oh, cute. So the team has been briefed and we're going to see what photos we can get this time around. <laughs> 